Hi everyone, Lady Botcher, Angela here with a quick update on my lunch break. Um, excuse me for myself. Uh, I am just been very, very busy. Very busy. Um, you know, my mind's kind of scrambled right now, but and sorry for the mess. This is all of the wedding stuff that I have piled up uh, for the two more weeks. So um, after it's finished, I am going to use most of these decorations actually in here and make it a little bit more naturey, more hobbity. And then I will take another tour of the room. Um, and right down here, you can't really see, you kind of can see. So I moved the girl's uh, room over because I was going to do something with it. I still might, I'm not sure. If not, it's going back in that spot uh, until after. But I have my like wedding stuff right here, like my dress and corset and stuff. I just did some uh, like uh, some quick repair things that I needed to do that I haven't done because I've been doing other people's things for the wedding. Um, and yeah, just sewing like curtains for people, <laughs> um, sewing, uh, people's shirts, like, uh, adjusting, uh, people's shirts for them that I've never done before. It turned out okay. Um, but you know, and then hemming this and hemming that and for people's costumes for, for the wedding. And I just now got to my own. <laughs> so, yay. So that's done. Um, I did uh, make something for the wedding like last minute, just uh, a couple days ago. And I'd like to show you guys, maybe I'll show you after, maybe I'll show you after um, it's taken place. But I made, <laughs> I my dress is very simple, very simple, gray purple dress. Um, it has some ties in the front and a hood and that's it. So it's, it's very simple, like, that, like I said, but I was like, I want something more. I want a little bit extra, you know, um, because I seen like my mom's dress and my mother-in-law's dress. And I'm like, y'all look so regal. Like you can't look better than me. <laughs> like, come on. Um, even though their dresses are so beautiful, they got those ones, like the big bell sleeves and the velvet dress and like my mom um, picked a dress that matched her cloak that I made her, which is like a red. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I and I on my mother-in-law's dress, I did some uh, adjustments as well. So I had to take in a bit up here, and then I had to, to hem it probably like this much. So um, yeah, I made myself a train, um, just a little one, just in the back. Uh, it's just to go like basically over your bum and um, I made it out of a $12 tablecloth. It's one of those ones that's like really pretty and lacy. Um, yeah, I bought two because I wanted to make it like super long, but the one is like so, so long. So I, I did it in half and it still touches and drags on the ground. So I'm like, okay, I'll just do one. <laughs> Um, but it's very nice. I, I think it turned out okay. Um, I hope I can fit it under my corset and have it hold. I don't know. That's the other thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but as always, I have my notes. <laughs> so I almost slapped myself in the face. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys can see all the wedding stuff here. All the preparation stuff. Some stuff you've seen like on Instagram, uh, possibly. By the way, Instagram, thank you for fucking much, okay? Shh. It, it gets me so mad. I had to contact Meg, and I was like, can you see my shit? Because I can't even log in. It said mine was disabled because of, because of uh, violation of community guidelines. Like, is it because of the doll nipples? Is it because of that? I, do, I don't know. I'm like, I, I post pictures of chickens and ducks and dolls. Like, what the fuck? So, check back in a few hours. Meg was like, hey, you're in and, and all that. So, finally got in and I was like, what the fuck happened? 
apparently like tons of people's things dropped off tons of followers and mostly like celebrities and stuff. I'm like, then why the fuck was I in there? Cause I'm not a celebrity, but I don't think any of my, my followers, um, got booted or anything. At least I don't think so. Um, if you did, I'm really sorry. Go back and follow if you want. Um, again, I had no say in it. I was flipping shit because all my fucking pictures are on there. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, wigs came in and I did a quick video of that. And I'm going to show you this sweet little girl. This is Akalia. And I'm actually going to call her just Leah because Akalia all the time is um, kind of long, you know. I mean, I'll refer to her as Akalia sometimes, but I'll also call her Leah. Um, but I love this fucking wig. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> oh my God, it's so freaking beautiful. I love it. Look at her. She's so freaking... Well, guys... This is where my mind's at. <laughs> gone. Just gone. Okay. <laughs> so here she is. I was like, why is it so dark? <sighs> Ooh, there's some fluff. Ooh, here. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that texture. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it. And she looks so good in it. I have to, um, I have her ears here. But I have a band, um, like a headband. I bought uh, like a bag of them or something. And it didn't cost too much. I think it was only a couple bucks. But uh, they do fit on here or they do, you know, with their magnets and stuff. But I might have to glue a different magnet onto these, like a bigger one, which I do have. Um, but she's, she's, she's so good. She's so cute. So cute. I think I love her more now because of her hair. So, not that her hair before wasn't great, but I I wanted something a little bit more flowy and more furry. <sighs> so, I think she's super cute. I know I'm going to have to fix the ears because um, they just, see how how easy it is now just to take off. Um, I don't want to ruin her, her wig to put magnets on the wig, so I'm going to just put them on the ears and then keep this headband, I think, so. Oh, she's so cute. I love it. <laughs> she's probably one of my new favorites now. Not all my dolls are my favorites. What am I talking about? Okay, so I will put her back down here. She's sitting on her the little log thing. Um, also, the head finally came in from Doll Chateau. Uh, this is Gail. Ta -da! Little sweet little pixie girl. See if I can get her in focus, maybe. There we go. But her ears are super delicate. But um, and, oh, she's just so freaking pretty and cute. I did an unboxing of her as well, so you can see it a lot better than this because it's not picking up. But I got her this little mossy wig, uh, also from the same same lady who made that. So this is the smallest that she goes um, because she has to sew it in a certain way. So she can't go any smaller than this. Um, she suggests doing wefts, obviously, which I know how to do. I'm just lazy and I don't want to do it. But this is a sweet little, like, mossy colored mohair. And it's a lot more straight than curly, which is fine because all of them are different, obviously. Um, but it's like, uh, the, the color on it is like, just, this really pretty mossy green. It's not bright. It's not a puke pea green color or anything. It's like a soft moss. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to explain it, but I think she's going to look great in it. Here we go. So, because she is going to be my little hedge fairy. So, um, if you know anything about the hedge witches, they do like, they're more, more associated with like, you know, um, moss and mushrooms and, um, you know, that kind of thing, you know? So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for her. So she'll be mushrooms and moss. So I think she's super cute. Here's the thing. I have the body for her. 
Um, I was working on her yesterday and she is really loose, but I, I can obviously that the looseness can, can be worked with. That's fine. Um, I suede her joints and she actually stands pretty well now. Uh, her knees are still kind of me, but um, this is the body from Libby uh, that her mom had. And I think it's gonna go really great with her. Even though the skin color is different, this is like a more of a pale yellow, and this is more pale pink. But with the blushing and stuff, I I'm, I can do that, it's fine. Um, but the thing is, this headpiece and this, here I'll, I'll remove the, the S hook here. I don't know if you can see, see that? It's not gonna, this thing right here, it's kind of jutting out a bit too much. So I don't know if I should sand this down. If I should sand that down, make the hole bigger on the head, which I think I, I should because it has more resin than the neck. And I don't want to sand the neck down too much because it doesn't have very much in there. So please give me your suggestions. I haven't modded something like, like this before. I have modded once. Um, well, twice. I, I gave her uh, Ren her earring, but that was already pretty much made. I also sanded down uh, Bolt's ears because he was an elf and he needed to be human. That's the only modifications I've ever done uh, in that sense. So please let me know. Should I sand this part down? Because it is. It's like a lip. See that little lip? That's what's making it. And then the hole could be bigger, to be honest. Um, because this is a Leak World uh, B body, Chloe. Uh, and I might have to go off the Chloe's neck size and I'll just kind of refer back and forth to them. That might work, but the thing is, the sanding part, I, oh God. I just got it and I'm like, oh God, I should have. Yeah, and then I've got tons of eyes to choose from after I've gotten her face up, done and over. I'm not sure if I want to go green or purple. I'm thinking more purple. But the, the eyes she came with are super, super huge. But they have like a red sheen or tinge on them. And this that's pretty cool. But, um, okay, so for that, so need help for the neck mod, please. <laughs> uh, the Penny's Box mix, Mishap. So... I ordered one of the new Penny's blind boxes um, that was for a tenor or teener, something like that. That's what it's called. It's the, the sweetheart school girl. Well, come to find out, I was wondering where it was, where, where is it, where is it? It doesn't even come out until January. But yet it's on AliExpress uh, for the same amount of money, so I'm like, Okay, so I was just like, I'm not gonna even worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. So I went to the girl, Jane's Dollan, because that's where I got it from. Um, I said, cake. I didn't know that this was in January. It doesn't say anywhere on the website that, you know, it's for January. So I said, can you just switch my order to one of the, the hunting or haunting line um, that I got the, the purple rabbit from? And she goes, yeah, that's fine. So we, we did that and it's on its way. It got shipped out. Next thing, I found two dolls, uh, Obitsu 11 dolls, that were zodiac signs, and one's a Pisces and one's a Scorpio for me and Tim, and I thought they were so cute. And so I got them, and so they're coming uh, from AliExpress and uh, at some point. Um, but I have a little, this is gonna go over time, but that's okay. Uh, I have a little, uh, I don't know if it's like just a just an opinion, I guess, an opinion. I know that Shelby has talked about this before that anything less than a, a six scale is not a BJD or it doesn't it is not like, you know, in their mind isn't a BJD. For me, I kind of tend to agree. And here's why. <laughs> anything less than a one six scale 
is just like the Ubitsu 11. Some of them you can do their eyes, some of them you have to take off their face. It's almost like a vinyl doll. But the thing is, like, for me, they, they're almost like figurines, but they have joints. <laughs> but they're still a ball-jointed doll, but in my mind, it's it's more like you can be more rough with them. You can, you know, not that you would, but that you could. And they kind of just, you know, sit around, look good, make you feel happy. And that's what figurines kind of do if they're just stationary, too, so... For me, that's what it is. I still have them. I obviously at Penny's boxes are super cute. I'm kind of, I have, you know, the Zodiac ones oops, coming. And so, yeah, I still like them. <laughs> um, it's not that. It's just that for me, I know there's small ball jointed dolls and it's crazy how people do that. Um, but in my mind, those ones that I have sitting in like way up here um, are more like figurines and they just sit on, you know, my desk or my my bookcase and feel pretty. So that's kind of what I had in mind. Uh, this, the Gelfling series is in the background. It will be coming slowly, <laughs> um, probably after the wedding sometime. Um, there are three left. One is Stonewood, one is Doosan or Dosen, and I think it's Doosan, um, and Vapra. So if you have any preferences, I would say Stonewood first, just because it's the most boring to me. But um, the other two, I think, are going to be a pretty good, um, pretty good to do. So, and finally, well, not finally, almost the last, um, the Viking bag tutorial is coming. I am working on it. It will probably be the only other video I put out before the wedding um, this next week. And I'm going to try and be as detailed as I can because it. Obviously, this that would be a tutorial. The other thing that I did with the pattern drafting, that was very lazy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know, be creative and do it yourself. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had that coming. So, so watch out for that. Um, there will be two different ways. So, I'll be doing it um, sewing by hand and then um, one doing it by machine. So, we'll see how that goes. And lastly... Um, as you guys, some of you guys know from early on, this is Bolt. This is Captain Bolt. Um, and I, I'm thinking of letting go because I just, I don't, I haven't done, like he doesn't even have shoes, guys. Come on. I haven't strung him. I, I only did his face up and then I got him this outfit and I did the chains and I sewed up these things on the, the side of his pants. That's all I did. I've done... Uh, the little, uh, little extra ribbons there, there and there, you know, here and there. But I just, I don't, he is modded. He's a recast. Um, that's what I, I modded his ears. So they were pointy. I forget which mini fee he is. Honestly, I forgot. If you know, please let me know. Um, he's an elf one. I, that's all I remember. But I just, yeah, not, I need space and I'm just not connected with him at all. I haven't, I don't think I have been ever. <laughs> he's just been sitting here because he's been part of my story. But the thing is, I don't need him to be sitting here part of my story when I have the other four that I have. Um, yeah. I mean, so if you're interested, let me know. I'll only probably charge like, you know, since he's a recast, probably like 65 bucks because I paid about 90 for him um, and 60 plus shipping. So um, you're getting everything you see here with him. I mean, there's an undershirt. I think there's a belt somewhere I can find. It's like a leather belt that kind of goes over him somehow. Um, but he just doesn't have shoes. So he comes with the face up. I can wipe it off if you want. He comes with the eyes and the wig, everything. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, either contact me on Instagram, which is probably the, the most convenient. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just not feeling them, guys. But yeah, if you, it, it'll be international. I mean, if you want to pay the shipping, 
be my guest. I, but base pay, 65 bucks uh, plus shipping. So, yep, PayPal if you if you want. I mean, he's a he's a mini fee. So I don't know what kind of body he's on. I forget. I think it's it's not one of them. It's a, like a lithe, muscular one looking. So uh, just let me know. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, I know I will be after all this is done. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I wish you guys a happy Wednesday and the rest of your week is great because the weekend is soon coming. So I will see y'all later. Bye.